What's up guys, JB2017 here, and I am very excited to share the new Automatron trailer that Bethesda just released this morning, as well as the release date for the DLC, which is officially March 22nd. Mark it on your calendar, it's only one week away. In this video, I'm gonna be pausing and breaking down this trailer to look for as many details as possible so that we can know what to expect in Automatron. And I left a link to the unedited trailer on Bethesda's channel in the description below, so I highly encourage that you all go and watch that first if you haven't already before continuing with this video. So let's go ahead and start from the very beginning of the trailer. This was the third time we've been attacked by robots like these. It's time to uncover the source and confront their leader. I ask your assistance in stopping this mechanism. So we have what appears to be a blue-colored Assaultron coming to the Soul Survivor and saying, we're being attacked by robots, we need to find out where they're coming from, we need to confront their leader, which I think we can assume to be the Mechanist, and this Assaultron needs our help. And it makes sense from a narrative standpoint that this is where the DLC starts. This is how we will start Automatron, and maybe it'll be a radio frequency, maybe just a quest will appear on our map somewhere. We will have to find out. This Assaultron also appears to be a unique combination of robots already. We already get a glimpse at that, so it looks like a combination of an Assaultron and a Protectron, at least with the legs, and one of those arms still looks like an Assaultron arm, but that's interesting. We get some really cool shots of the inside of what looks to be a robot-making factory, and maybe we can assume this is where the Mechanist Lair is located. We'll actually see him later in this trailer, but we get a really cool look at where we're going to be spending some of our time in this DLC. One final glimpse at this first part, we get to see something that looks to me like a robot graveyard. There's a bunch of dead robots that are kind of strung up almost like dead bodies and I would assume because of this dead robot throne room that this is exactly where the mechanist hangs out this is his lair but we are going to see him later in the trailer so let's go ahead and continue now stopping this mechanist you see junk I see the building blocks of life mine in particular We start out with a look at how we're going to be able to create our own custom robots, and this first shot shows a combination of what appears to be Robobrain legs, because those treads are not in Fallout 4 already, and a Protectron top with a combination of what looks like a Sentry Bot midsection. It's really, really interesting. This robot building station is going to offer us so many options, and as we cut to another shot, it's going to show what appears to be the background of Red Rocket. I think that's the Red Rocket garage. I've seen it enough times to know that's what that looks like, and in the top right, we can see very clearly clearly the sole survivor is on a terminal so we're going to probably control from a terminal and get this nice view this rotating view of how we're going to be able to customize our own robots and as you guys look at slow motion of the robot customization we get this nice robotic voice saying you see junk i see the building blocks of life mine in particular and this is not the same female saltron voice that we heard early in the trailer and if i were a betting man i would say this is probably the robo brain talking to us now i could go ahead and break down every single robot combination i see on this trailer i think there's too many to do that in this video i'll probably do that in a separate video before the actual DLC comes out but as you're watching this in slow motion I want you guys to appreciate how many different combinations we're seeing this is crazy we see that Viking helmet on top of an automatron we see all these unique combinations and it's really really cool I'm really looking forward to it let's move on the final confrontation awaits I only hope we both live to see it There's so much to be excited about in this trailer, but I wanted to pause to appreciate this Assaultron flipping out a flaming sword for an arm. That looks to me like a shish kebab mod for our Assaultron arms. If so, that is absolutely insane. Thank you, Bethesda. Moving forward, we get to see this new melee weapon. It looks like a saw blade attached to a really robotic looking pole. And I really didn't expect this much new stuff from a $10 DLC. I mean, we've got this melee weapon. We're about to look at a few ranged weapons, but it's really impressive to see this new stuff so far. And I don't know how this guy is passing through these laser trip mines like magic, but he also appears to be in some kind of really advanced facility. Again, I would assume maybe the mechanist layer. Next, we see a new energy G weapon that is powering up it looks very advanced some kind of shielding on there it doesn't look like anything we've seen before maybe a modified gamma gun but that's just a guess and also this iBot helmet with some very interesting looking armor this looks like an entirely new armor set that we already knew we were going to get from the promotional image for this DLC it doesn't look like exactly what the mechanist was wearing again we're going to see him towards the end of the trailer but this is some new armor again I didn't really realize we we're going to get some new armor it just seemed like we're going to get this this and this we're getting a lot
lot more than I expected. This ray gun looking weapon just obliterates this robot. And after this failure of a mind throw, I just wanted to point this out. Look at these interesting robots. They've got Mr. Handy eyes and some kind of variant in the middle, almost looks like a sentry bot variant in the middle. And then what looks like normal, almost Android looking legs. There is some deep, deep customization here. Our color customization we saw in the beginning, there's like a pink Mr. Handy combination. It's just really cool to see all of this. Moving on, we get to see this robot pretty much deck the soul survivor. I wanted to pause here to show you guys. Indeed, that's a pit boy there. I think we can assume that's the soul survivor with some kind of iBot looking helmet and then proceeds to jump up like some kind of ninja robot and start stabbing the soul survivor to death. This is a death scene, people. We can look forward to being murdered by ninja robots. We get another scene of this rod looking weapon for melee characters. I'm glad we're getting a new weapon for melee characters. They definitely deserve it. And this thing looks like it's going to be able to cut through robots. Very, very cool. And finally, the moment I've been waiting for, we get a flash of light that reveals what looks like the lightning chain gun that Bethesda talked about. I thought maybe this was just going to be something for our robot companions. Nope, we're going to be able to use a lightning chain gun. We get some sweet game play of the soul survivor using it looks so cool before we move on i wanted to pause right here because earlier i said this room was a throne it actually just looks like that was a giant sentry bot at the very beginning of the trailer this is just a heavily armed heavily armored sentry bot that looks like some sort of boss we might have to face a lot of this armor looks inspired by the raider armor so maybe some raiders started worshiping this monstrosity of a sentry bot maybe it works for the mechanist we don't really know but it does look very scary now you'll face the full light of the Mechanist! Come on, robots! Let's finish this! Now, if that doesn't give you shivers, I don't know what will, but I wanted to pause right here. First off, we got this barrage of like fire attack from this robot. Never seen that before, so that's completely new. But we get another angle of this gun that I'm just gonna keep calling a ray gun. It really does look like a ray gun. I'm sure you guys that play Fallout that hate Call of Duty are gonna hate that, but it looks most like a ray gun from Call of Duty Zombies. And so we're gonna have that kind of weapon again. It looks very cool from this angle. And then we get another action shot of this ultra looking sentry bot on the right that could be another robot fighting it or the you know soul survivor themselves in some kind of robot looking armor we don't know but here we finally get a look at the mechanist and we hear what he or she has to say we hear now you'll face the full light i think it's light of the mechanist come my robots let's finish this so let's look at this image we've got the new and improved mechanist suit it looks very cool it looks very fallout 4 and i like the new style it's got this big chest piece and the reason i said he or she is because of this chest piece there could be a pair of boobs under there. It's a possibility, but there is a voice manipulator. So we don't know if this is a male or female. In my opinion, it doesn't sound like a female. Of course, it sounds more like a male, but you know, it is manipulated. The voice is manipulated. So we don't know if this is Scott Walensky, who was the mechanist in Fallout 3. We don't know if this is Derek Passion, I think was his name. The little kid who worshiped the mechanist. That's a really popular kind of theory among people. We just don't know who it is. And I don't think we're going to find out until we actually fight the mechanist and figure out who it is. We get this final really cool tracking shot that shows us just how deep and impressive that you know the mechanist army the robot army is going to be with the trusty ibot by the mechanist side we get to see all of these robots all of these combinations there's the robo brain right there front and center or actually i guess that's kind of you know middle and center we never got to see a true robo brain but it really does look the exact same that it did in all of the previous fallout games just some final notes since we're not traveling to a new location for automatron it is set in the base commonwealth the vanilla commonwealth that we've already been in However, clearly this has got to be somewhere. This is going to be in some abandoned factory. I don't know if there's any factory that we weren't able to get in before. I don't know if Bethesda transplanted a new factory or a new location spot in the game. That seems a little weird, but maybe they repurposed a factory that we've already been in. It's some giant factory that the mechanist clearly was able to post up in and manufacture all these robots. It's a huge location. Maybe it's multiple locations. We don't really know yet. The final thing I want to point out is that in this trailer, they are framing the mechanist, I believe, as a bad guy I don't think we're gonna have some kind of peaceful resolution to this I could be completely wrong they could pull a complete 180 and give us a chance but it does seem to me very much so that the mechanist is framed as a bad person and we're gonna probably have to kill them that's all I have for you guys this was a very exciting you know announcement for Bethesda automatron the title sequence here looks beautiful I can't wait to play it and I want to hear from you guys what do you think about this entire trailer is there anything that I missed any details that you think are really important share all that in the comment section below and I want to let you guys know this this is your spot for Automatron news, coverage, all of that. For the next week, we're going to be breaking down everything we possibly can from this trailer in even more depth. So definitely 
definitely stay tuned for that and also stay tuned on my channel when automatron comes to us on march 22nd next week thank you guys for watching if you learned something new or if you enjoyed this video remember to hit that like button i would really appreciate it and i will talk to you all very soon peace